Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. Non-event day, that means some mini events. And yeah, Ebony released three mini events. One that people have been begging for for a lot, Hun's Invasion. It's at the end of this video or midway through. But overall, all three of these events seem to be pretty subpar. Players aren't enjoying them. They seem to just be sort of a waste of time and don't really help you with any development. They're just kind of social games. This one right here is called uh, Something Tavern. And basically, you pick some stuff at random, and if you want to select more often, spend some money, but totally not worth it. If you are going to spend money, use the Aptoid uh, code across the top of the screen, 5%, and that's running out. Still no word if Ebony's going to reverse that decision. Please let customer service know. Uh, funny thing, uh, one of the people in one of my comments in the video said, hey, you uh, talked about a coin strike because Aptoid users are not getting discount. Well, what about us iPhone users or Google Play users? We haven't been getting discounts, so why would we strike with you? Great point. That does make it tough to unite a player base, right? So some people are not affected by this at all and probably happy. Here's the next event. And this is just you use a pickaxe and select some stuff and get some jewels if you find them, kind of like the relics chamber. And again... You can spend money for more chances, and I recommend you don't because the packs aren't very good and the rewards aren't very good. So I would just save your money as always. Don't get suckered into these social games on the non-events. If you're going to spend money, buy the daily event pack in the top right corner during events, not right now. Now a little bonus tip for you guys. I have covered this before, but I'm changing culture here because I want a gold sub, and that gave me 15 American fragments, but I don't play in American culture, so I have to change the culture and then ch change, change to American, use my fragments, then change back to my culture. I usually use Russian, and it's up to level four, just like the American was one was that I just upgraded it to. So you can upgrade with any fragments. You just have to change to the culture. So here's Hun's Invasion coming up, and there appears to be some new rules, some new buffs that come with it, but it's still a subpar game. When this first came out... Um, People were excited. It was the first new event in Ebony in years. Like there was only SVS and Battlefield for a long time. This came out before Shallans, but it was it was like cool. It was like, hey, I could play with people in other alliances. I could play with people on other servers. And then it was lackluster. You could see the battle shop there. It appeared that the best reward in there was the Civ treasure or the Civ gear. But it was a Civ Gear fragment. And of course, you have to heal your hospital in to play this, just like Battlefield. But luckily, your troops don't get hurt in here because I had a few scares. I looked at my reports and I was like, killed? Oh my god, am I supposed to be empty in my hospital? But you don't have to. Don't worry. They all revive after. So in the, in the shop for this, I would just buy, I don't know, Blood of Ares, Civ Treasures, anything you need but anything that's not easy to get for you in the game, but one fragment, I don't know if that's really worth it for the uh, Civ Treasures. So I started out doing Huns with PvP marches, and then I started to do them with Monster Marches, which is just one troop of my highest tier. So there's benefits to both, actually. So <clears throat> if you care about points and earning points, use a PvP march. If you care about wounded troops and you might be a smaller player who needs your troops to survive. So right now you're watching nightmare mode. I did get a warning from all of my teammates today. Hey, we got to team up and play together because this is really difficult. Uh, so I just went out. I did nightmare. I did struggle on the final level, but I did manage to get it done. I didn't. I just played random players. Um, I will have to use uh, elite teammates people handpicked to finish the hell one i'm sure but what i was saying earlier was so if you want points and you want to finish first use a pvp march but you will lose more troops they, so some players who are smaller that actually might affect you because by the end of it you might be running out of troops but if you care about wounded troops use a monster march and just use one tier but you won't get as many points so catch 22 uh, the way this thing works is basically just attack the main castle and look at what troop it has the most of and then use the anti-troop. So if it has the most ground, use horse. 
if it has the most archers, use ground, etc. Um, the only other thing that you have to know is that at level 2 and level 10, there's raiders and they're, they're on the map. <clears throat> what you really should be doing if you want to get the highest point total possible, you should attack the main camp last, like wait all five minutes, and just keep attacking the raiders on the outside because they'll respawn after you attack them and you'll get points. So just keep attacking them. And if you really want more points, be really selfish and attack without your teammates. That's actually what makes Hun's Invasion the worst. This is what makes it really unfair is that it's a game where people could screw other people over. So you could go in and you could say, ah, I'm in second place. I'm just going to start launching early and do it before everybody else joins. And I think that's unfair to teammates. So I don't like that aspect of it. Maybe, I don't, I don't know how they would correct that, but maybe they could make it so that every player actually has to join the rally and it doesn't launch until the very end at five minutes if it does or if the people don't join it. I don't know. But I don't like the selfish aspect of it. Then there's these uh, little buffs that you can use. I chose this uh, one because it had critical, uh, critical chance, which I assume is the same as the Maya treasure event, which means that it might be automatic death, so you win. But there is one more, the red one to the right of it, that does have multi-attack. To be honest, I'm not sure which one's better because they both sound good. And they're both not explained in the rules, as always with Ebony. So I don't know. Is it better to have critical chance where you could win in one attack? Or is it better to attack multiple times before the enemy attacks back? I don't know. Uh, I just equipped that one, and it worked out fairly well. And But who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. And then uh, that's pretty much it for this, what I did with my other chances because there's fame quests for each chance and you can only claim rewards once a day at each level. So I did three different levels. I did easy and then I did hard and nightmare. And tomorrow I'll probably do hell, nightmare if I can reclaim the rewards and then I'll do normal because I want to do all five levels for my fame quests. Um, I don't know if you guys have as much OCD as I do for that. And, uh, you know, that's about the basically reason why I would be doing that. One other thing I did want to uh, talk about was in my video yesterday about uh, Aptoid. I did at one point say, I work for Ebony and I still buy packs and I want them at a discount. I meant I make videos for Ebony while working for Aptoid. Obviously, I don't work for Ebony, but I know there will be some people out there who will never let me forget that. But anyways, wish I worked for Ebony. I've asked them many times, but I don't think they would like when I call their events crappy and subpar. So maybe uh, they aren't that interested in hiring me. Anyways, like, subscribe, leave a comment.